Welcome to the tutorial breaking down the secondary parts. In this tutorial we're going to continue breaking down the Karate Rabbit into more detail. If you remember from the last tutorial we broke down the rabbit into its main parts, the body, the two legs, the head, and the two arms. So now I'm going to break down each larger part into their smaller parts, so the arm into the forearm and the hand, the leg into um, the shins and the feet, etc. But before we begin, I'd like to draw a guide um, on its own layer. So I'll draw it in this drawing layer here. And what that guide is going to do is show me where the knees need to be cut for both legs, for example, and for all three views. Because as we toggle back and forth, you'll see that we'll only see maybe one, one view or one side, and we'll forget, well, if I cut the knee here on one leg and here on the other leg, he's going to look very lopsided. So we definitely need some type of a guide to help remind us exactly where we need to make those cuts. And this is going to be very similar to the previous tutorial breaking down the main parts, except for the fact that instead of keeping um, our original art um, or our original source layer, we're going to actually cut away. So once again, that guide is very important because these will actually be cuts and not just copies uh, from the main uh, source of artwork. So let's begin by selecting the drawing layer and the correct cell. And then we're going to use the keyboard shortcut Option Command on Mac or Control Alt on Windows to bring up the animation turn disk. And I'm going to rotate my camera view slightly. And then with the brush tool that's already been selected, I'm going to draw a line across the knees and across the elbows. Then I'm going to use Shift M to reset the view. And I think I notice these are slightly slanted, so I'm going to hold down V and rotate the lines a little bit. And make sure they're at the correct height. Like that. And then I'm going to rename this layer Guides. Okay, so now I'm going to select the cutter tool and let's hide the, all the rabbit body parts from view and then let's select the karate rabbit uh, leg O2 here and the guides. So we see where we have to cut it and we see the one uh, piece of the uh, complete color model that we want to cut. Um, you see here there's a little bit of junk art like things that we're going to in a different tutorial clean up and we're also going to clean up where the body part is incomplete or cut roughly. So let's also zoom in here. Okay. So this time I'm going to think I'm going to use the marquee because I want a nice square cut here. And I'm just going to double check that the Karate O2 leg layer is in fact selected. And then I'm going to draw that square and cut it right where the guide tells me to. So you can see that this piece has been selected because of the washed out colors. And then if you remember from the previous tutorial, you can either go to Edit, Create Drawing from Drawing Selection, or use the keyboard shortcut Command F9 on Mac or just F9 on Windows. So this time, unlike um, in the previous tutorial, when they asked you if you want to cut artwork from source, this time, yes, we do. So we're going to check that off. And then we're going to uh, create a new layer called Karate Rabbit 2 underscore tibia. Or like I was saying, you can use shin or lower leg or whatever uh, you need to indicate that this is the lower part of the rabbit's leg and say OK. So now if you go to the um, timeline, you can see that a new layer has been created called Karate Rabbit O2 Tibia. And I'm just going to once again hide all the layers and then just select this layer. And you can see, yes, it's been cut and there's a nice flush cut. And then in the Karate O2 leg layer, there's also a flush cut. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat that entire process again, but this time with the eyes from the rabbit's head. And the reason I'm going to do this is because a lot of people have a very difficult time visualizing how to cut out the eyes, even though it's just another secondary 
part. So I'm going to zoom in here on the rabbit's face and I'm going to change uh, from the marquee to the lasso. And what I'm going to cut out here is what we consider the rabbit's eyelid and that's a little bit of the yellow either fur or skin of the rabbit's face around the whites of the eye. And then I'm going to use our uh, usual Command F9 keyboard shortcut. So that's just F9 on Windows. And I'm going to rename this layer Karate Rabbit 01i. And this time we also do want to cut artwork from source. So what you're going to get on the Karate Rabbit head layer is the exact same artwork that you already see here, but there's going to be a big hole where this patch will be removed. Um, but don't worry about that. I'm going to show you in the cleanup tutorial how to just fill in that hole with uh, the same yellow paint as the face to patch it up and make this head uh, one solid object again. So we're going to say OK. And now if we deselect and we hide all the layers and just show you the eye, so you'll see, yes, indeed, uh, we have the eye cut out. So we're not done here. What we want to do now is select just the whites of the eye, so excluding this black line and this bit of yellow. So I'm going to hold down Alt or Option to momentarily bring up uh, the Marquee tool and select the white. And then I'll go through our usual process of Command F9. And this time I'm going to rename this layer Karate Rabbit 01 Eyeball. Some people name it eye whites or whites of the eyes or the anatomical name for the eye. Um, it's up to you. And once again, we're going to cut away from source and say OK. So now we have one more cut to make, and that is the pupil. If you have a character with an iris and a pupil, so like a colored ring uh, surrounding a black circle, you, you'll, only make, you'll still only make one more cut, and that's because the iris and the pupil always move together. So because they're never separate, we consider them one object. I'm going to zoom in just to be sure. So I'm going to hold down Alt or Option again, select uh, the pupil, and hold down Shift to also select the outline. And uh, Command F9. And this time we're going to call this pupil. And say OK. So in essence, you should now have three layers, the eye, the eyeball, and the pupil. Actually, I'm going to rename this layer to eyelid, just to make it more clear. And so you're going to continue cutting out both eyes and putting them on separate layers. So one will be Karate Rabbit 01i and one will be 02i. And this will be true for both the front and the three-quarter view power for the profile view you're only going to have one eye. You can put it on eye two, it doesn't really matter, but just to be aware that um, you will only have one uh, cell for that. And that's common for uh, a lot of cutout puppets. You don't necessarily need to have the same number of uh, cells for all the body parts. Some views don't have all the body parts. So now I might uh, speed up the video here. I'm going to go through and cut out the parts for the entire rabbit, the secondary parts.
So I think that's pretty much it for cutting out all the parts of the Karate Rabbit in the front view. Just in case you don't want to have to slow down the sped up section, I'll go over what I cut out. So from the leg, I cut out the shin or the tibia and the foot for both legs. From the arm, I cut out the forearm and the hand for both arms. From the body, I cut out the tail. From the head, I cut out the eyes from the, or what I named the eyelid. From the eyelid, I cut out the eyeball, and from the eyeball, I cut out the iris for both eyes. I also cut out both eyebrows um, because they're very expressive. You can use them um, to make a lot of expressions um, when you animate. The nose I cut out just because this happens to be a cartoon rabbit, and if you've ever seen a rabbit in real life, he does a lot of gestures with his nose. Um, a lot of cutout characters, though, especially if they're human, you don't actually cut out the nose, you leave it as part of the face. Um, I also cut out the mouth and then the two ears from the head as well, um, each of the two ears having their own separate layer. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial, breaking down the secondary parts. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, breaking down the extra views.